Hey everybody, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Uh, we're heading into the Weald, and it's our first medium run to try and get the poison herbs for the Plague Doctor. I think that'll be nice. I've gone ahead and equipped these guys with trinkets. We've got the Damage Stone and Heavy Boots here. We've got Bleed Amulet on Atlas. We should probably unlock his Bleed skill and use it. Let's put that in position one, two, three, and four, the Repost. Uh, our Falconer, our Yasha, is set up. We've got her in the third position here instead of the fourth because uh, we want to use Flank and Gouge, which has some Bleed and Mark Synergies. And then, uh, of course, Kovan Ranger in the back with some Accuracy buffs for the Archer's Ring. A little bit of healing, and uh, I hope that this is okay to sustain us throughout this long dungeon. Um, Provisions-wise, it's going to be a little tight. We're pretty broke, so I'm hoping that we can take maybe a little bit less food. We're going to need, I would say, at least four shovels on a medium run in the wield. Pretty scary stuff. I'm going to take a few things of herbs so that we can maybe find more food. Torch-wise, something around here is probably fine. Couple of keys. Um, what else could we take that's going to be beneficial? We can go... Maybe some anti-venom. I think that's going to be as much as I can squeeze out of here. <laughs> it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. We can camp to reduce some stress and hopefully heal. Kind of depends on what happens with these herbs. But um, yeah, it might be tight. Might be tight. Let's uh, give her a go, shall we? Today's log comes from Black Sun, who's actually writing for the caretaker. I was really hoping somebody would do this. Uh, it is as I had feared. The barrier runes that Master Ambrosius had prepared around the courtyard are growing weaker each passing week. Luckily, Master has shown me how to take measures to restore them in the case that he could, for some reason, not be able to return to restore them himself. I can perform the ritual, but my connection to the Dark Arcana is less impressive than Master Ambrosius. I will restore them at great pains to myself and my body. I am not the young man I once was. That said, I will have to inform Master Christopher about this. Thank you. I knew all these powers All right, once. scouting, boom. Now they are as twisted as my own Excellent. ambitions. Excellent. Likely going to be you, 80%. 90% on him. Oh, 90% on her too. Okay, well, you need this, so... <laughs> Excellent. Excellent start. Bring to life with a singular Excellent purpose. start. Okay, so we've got some windy roads here. Explore 90% of rooms. We're going to go up and then back down. Scout out this little section and then back up in there, I think. That's the plan. As it stands now, anyway. Let's torch up. Okay. Let us go first, please. Rough. Atlas, your stress is already looking pretty, pretty good. Should we throw down our post, or I think we just maybe go for damage? I think so. Let's hit that. Oh! Okay. Redemption. Redemption. Now we're talking. So we can buff ourselves to speed if we switch this to hit that back line. We're looking at minus dodge and minus speed for them, which could actually be beneficial. But if we get the plus two speed here, is that not just slightly better? So that we ensure we go before them next time or try to. I don't think they're going to be around. Eight here. I think we should be able to just clobber. Another nice job, lock one. <sighs> Two crits, eleven. Maintain the offensive. We take a little bit of damage here, but all things considered, pretty solid start. Um, let's see. Plus 45% damage while stealth. We don't take it. There's no negative damage here at all. Just using the skill as is. Minus 10 accuracy, I'm okay with. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Over time, we'll just start to know, like, what the first kind of skill set um, feels like. And we won't have to switch and check it out as often. Uh, unlocked. Let's grab it. Okay. Thousand bucks. Not complaining. 
surely you're not going to fail this twice. Hey, there you go. Get that stress back down. Now, do we scout this room? Flow, yeah, it's empty. Okay. Corruption. It's a pretty long corridor. I'm going to torch up just to avoid surprises and shuffles. We got the surprise on them. We should be able to one-shot these guys. Nice thing is, is we've got upgraded gear on our Falconer and our Bounty Hunter. So we're hitting pretty hard. Back nice job, Aryasha. We have higher crit chance here, but higher chance to hit on this one. Damage range being the same. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Didn't quite get the kill, but that's fine. I think we'll pick it up here. Executed cruising. With impunity. Absolutely cruising. We didn't get the scout, so... Troubling effigy. I think we want... This is religious, right? So I think we want to use uh, holy water on this, if I'm not mistaken. And we don't have any. Either way, when I go into the little corridors like this, I think it probably makes sense to uh, just grab stuff on the way out. Alright. Uh, there's a curio in here. Let's do it. First hunger check. What do you got for us? Some rabid gnashes. I don't think we're going to be able to clear them all. I don't think. As the They've got decent falls, dodge too, so... It's possible that we miss some of these. Oof. Couldn't have spoke soon enough. It's okay if we get some bleed on. There's no crits, please. Thank you. You guys are pretty fast. And disease, excellent. Okay. Well, they all... They crushed us. They crushed us. Nice crit, Atlas. These crits are huge for our stress right now. Jeez. The crit lords. Um, I... I think, I mean, if he takes the swing, he can probably hit. So let's try and heal just a tad here. This is going to hurt a bit. I'm going to have to bandage this. Oh my. Clobber. Clobber. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Uh, slightly ajar. I don't think we need to break it. Nothing. So, I'm not going to do anything with that troubling effigy, I suppose. I'm just going to leave it. First obstacle coming up. I think, depending on how this battle goes, if this goes really well, then we'll hold off on camping. Otherwise, we'll look to camp in this area. Where are we at? Seven torches, ten food. That's enough for two food checks. But we need eight food to rest fully. Okay, let's dig. No food. I don't know why I would expect food down there. And even if I did get food, would you want to eat it? That's the real question. Okay. The artillery has got to go. Gotta go. They have some decent protection back there. I 
think I'm actually going to set up a uh, repose play here. Now, one of these does mark. This one marks. But it's, it's very reduced damage. De-stealths as well. I think one of these other ones marks on the second skill. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess I'm wrong. And it's not like it's uh, it's removing their... It's not reducing their protection. It's reducing accuracy, which I guess is okay. And then we can all do extra damage versus marks. Kind of offset that rot. What's their stun? Actually, maybe that's where we go. Shuffle was inconsequential, but fine. Look at this. 50 damage and 9 crit versus marked. Hit us in front, please. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Marcus, do it. Now we know their play. I think we'll take this, push him back a tad. Extra damage versus marked. Armor piercing versus marked, which is really nice. Except that's only for the front. That'll do. I'm a bit concerned. On the brink, facing the abyss. I'm a bit concerned. I'm gonna try to get this guy out of position. We'll heal up. Gross. So now when we switch to his turn, assuming he goes before... Let's see. What's our speed? Two, and his is what? Can't check it. Ouch. Not good. We have the anti-venom, but it's going to tick. I really hope that she gets to go first. For some reason, I can't right-click on him. Ah, uh, there we go. Speed is zero, so maybe... Big crit there. Come on. Nice. Big heal. Inspiration and improvement. Ah, we're gonna be in the exact same scenario. He might be gone. Damn it! Blood soaks the soil. Atlas is gone. Feeding the evil therein. That's rough. Okay. 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 Let's mark here. Get some extra damage from these guys. I don't know if this is doable with only three. Oh, God, that damage. Maybe it is. I don't know. Well, we picked up the bleed amulet that Atlas dropped, but that's our first RIP. That hurts. Hurts a lot. He was a big part of our scouting chances, too, I think. Spiderwebs, I'm like 90% sure that we want to use bandages. Um, pretty sure. We want to just reach in anyways. Ugh. What did we do? Slow reflex. Okay. All right. I'm pretty sure it's bandages. There's a hunger check, so now I'm under being able to use a full uh, camping heal. Also, 
Do we have prevent nighttime ambush? Yes, we do. Oh, I should have checked this. Oh, uh, there's our food. There's our food. Okay. I guess we could get rid of the anti-venom, but that feels like something we might need. Trying to think of what's best to get rid of here. I guess, like, we did just get a batch of food. But I'm going to use eight of it to, re to reduce as much stress as I can. I probably shouldn't have even eaten this because we're going to heal off that, too. I'm going to ditch this jade. Because we can stack this higher and we're unlikely to get more jade. Compared to our chances of getting gold. Okay, things are looking fine-ish in either direction. I'm going to need to get all but two rooms, I think. So, we'll see. Do I keep going without camping here? I think so. We'll grab this stuff on the way out of this corridor. We are officially out of torches. <laughs> I don't know. This We could probably make a good argument for leaving here. Got that surprise off, which is good. Oh, yeah. Now she's in position two. Yikes. These guys are likely going to go for a mark, right? And then escape cloud if they get too close. But I think they can drop blight on us too. What's the second part of this skill? Bleed versus marked and minus accuracy. I just think we need to get as much damage out as we can. This is so little. I'm gonna mark. Actually, I maybe should have marked up here. Oh, nice. That'll do. So if I pull him up, he's gonna go escape cloud back. That's probably better than uh, he resisted. Never mind. Here comes the mark. We know what their plans are. He's got a lot of HP. Mortality clarified in a single strike. But he can tank this for a little bit. This target's already marked. So now we do extra bleed versus marked. Four damage. I'm okay with this. Hmm. Yep. It's a little risky having him this low. Oh, I 
thought we could like, for sure get that kill. I mean, he's going to go for this. We can kill one off. Their speed is low, so we can get them on the next turn. Their damage is likely going to put them on death's door anyways. I'm gonna get rid of this. I guess we're gonna go debuff the accuracy. him back. Nice dodge, Lachlan. Oh! Annihilated. Jesus. This expedition Journal of Darius, Highwayman. Success. The road to the damned hamlet was a tricky one, both to find and to travel. When it revealed its ruined face, I swore I had never seen such neglect. Some buildings collapsed and uncaring residents fidgeting uselessly. I went swiftly to the tavern. Others with similar interests had gathered there, and I was assembled into an expedition. We leave at first light on the morrow. Okay. Go, keys. Take all of this, and I guess... I guess we're going to be resting here. Gathered close in tenuous firelight and uneasy companionship. We're gonna use this mostly for stress. We have some other nice heals in this group. Prevent nighttime ambush there. Reduce the chance that we're surprised. Dodge versus brigands. Now the reason that that's there is because the falconer has this kind of sub story that happens where these brigands are chasing her and trying to capture her back as she originally escaped from them. Um, so I don't know if if they're guaranteed to show up after we rest. I guess we'll find out. Um, definitely going to do this. We have eight left. Scouting chance, I wouldn't mind. Accuracy and crit, I wouldn't mind. On him. Seventy-five percent chance to heal thirty-five HP. Twenty-five percent chance to heal fifty. Whereas this heals everybody for twenty, but we don't really need it. Oh, nice. Is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Okay, so that's good. We have six more. I could even bring him up. So that would be four. 15% chance monster surprise for four battles is pretty good. So that would take us down to two. And then he takes this one, I think. Accuracy and crit. Okay. Okay. The match is struck. All right. So this, I think, is, is yeah. There it is. Nightmares and unavoidable ambushes. Some classes are haunted by their past. For example, the Shieldbreaker is scarred from past trauma. She must navigate a series of seven flashbacks uh, while camping. One battle per camp. Once those battles are completed, she can camp peacefully forever. The seven flashbacks are shared across the whole Shieldbreaker class. You don't have to do seven battles for each Shieldbreaker unit. Same thing with the Falconer, but hers are just a different deal. Uh, Reign of Whips is a problem.
I think we go here. No, I think we go here to mark this guy. He gets two actions as well. The ground quakes. This is a bit scary. Minus two dodge. There, there's an accuracy hit. Excellent. Damage versus marked. I'm going to pound into this guy. Normally, we'd go back here, but... Nice, nice, nice. I might just try and stack that accuracy debuff on him. So this is going to do the minus accuracy and do armor piercing now. Actually, it's going to kill him. It's going to kill him. Nice. Monster's size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Hmm. I wonder if I should be healing here. I think we just try and get out of this. Drop a stun, hopefully. Nice. Not as huge as I was hoping it would be. Nice, we get to go first. Debuff some of that accuracy. Or fail at it. These little mosquito bites over time. Um, if I don't act, he's got a speed of 8. He's probably going to go before us. Or if I don't attack, I should say. So I'm thinking about maybe healing, but... Fugitive's Journal. Okay, damn it. Remind One of the damsels escaped. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. So this is them talking about our falconer. Ascot must have tied the knots wrong, and now the wench is out in the woods, that idiot. Mother is sending me with Jarrett and Mavis to track her down. It's unsurprising, really. My day ruined by the actions of a brain-dead oaf. Maybe I'll stab him in the sack to teach him a lesson once I return. So this is something we'll have to keep in mind going forward. Um, I don't think they're guaranteed to show up, but I think the chances are quite high. And even if we do a prevent nighttime ambush, these guys can and will still show. The nighttime ambush just prevents the basic things. So here's the Talon Feathers. The ruffled feathers proves that you have dispatched a member of the Talon Brigand. Someone will pay handsomely for this. So it's a decent haul of money there too. Um, I guess we're going to swap these. And I think that it still stands that we save the journal pages, even if it's from these custom classes. So I'm hoping that that works out okay. Okay. We have no torches. This is getting quite scary. Eh, that's not good. Ambushed by foul invention. Please be empty. It's empty. Okay. Got a map that doesn't help us in this area. We'll go ahead and take that torch happily. I just need to... We need to do one more room. <laughs> just one. Just one. We have a... We just have to get there. We'll have a hallway battle. Journey... Our Journal of Diana Falconer. 
The damned witch dropped her mirror to reveal her hideous form. A mess of tentacle, maw, and spit screeching at her would-be assailants. Turid ran screaming just from the sight of the thing. When one of the cutthroats took a swing at the creature, it moved with impossible speed and vomited a putrid bile from its many mouths. The poor fools screamed in agony as their flesh melted from their bones, till all that remained was a puddle of boiling blood. That alone was enough to send the whole band of thugs running. And in that moment, the monstrosity turned its gaze to me. Pure instinct kicked in as fast as I could, and I ran as fast as I could into the darkness. Which I guess explains how she got away. Um, we don't have bandages. Okay, okay, okay. I think we can handle this. Oh, we're in bad positions. I didn't swap back. I did not swap back. Two to two. Ugh. Oh, bad rolls. And the dodge. Oh, my God. Okay, we'll take it back ourselves. It's always fair. It's done. Not good. Ooh, that's a lot of damage, actually. I don't know how the enemy feels. Kill this one before it can act. Let's go. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Um, we'll blind fire this. There you go. Okay, well, good news and bad news. Good news is... Um, nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Don't do a food check, guys. Oh. Okay. Good news is... Uh, we got some money. We got a decent amount of deeds here. This is a thousand. Thousand. It's, it's okay. We lost a guy, though. And we're coming out with pretty little stress as well. 1250 here. So all things considered, could have been a lot worse for our first medium run. But not having, like, a super dedicated healer. Um, the mark stuff was cool. But I feel like we need to have a more... Probably needed a better... Like a less fragile second line in the wield. The enemies are putting out some pretty heavy damage, so... Anyway. Every cleared path and charted route reduces the isolation of our troubled estate. This at least puts us into the, like, $12,000 range. Which is good, because we just spent everything that we had, so... Too bad we lost Winder, though. Marked by the flock. Okay, so you've interfered in the flock's ordeals. Your days are numbered. And I think that means that those guys that showed up are going to continue to uh, to hunt her down. Maybe more aggressively. Curiosity. Interest. Strange bedfellows. A monster exiled from her pack. On my road to damnation. Seeking an army to usurp a hostile queen, have we fallen on such desperate times that we consider throwing our lot in with the very creatures we sought out to destroy? Yes. This is um, the Duchess, I believe. Yeah, cool. Duchess is a cool class. Get into that in a second. We'll show you all the skills. Okay, so Edmund's chilled out a little bit. We remove Fading. We have Strange Bedfellows, which is that. And uh, Kovan is now an Apprentice Arbalist. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Okay. Good news is, uh, the person that died didn't have up upgraded gear, but if we could give a F in the chat for Atlas Winder. Ah, 
That was tough. And we almost got him out of there. We almost got him out of it. But um, those fungal guys were a little too much for him. Week 8, first death. Not so bad. Sorry to lose you, Atlas. It's quick-lived. Who do we have here? Okay. I don't know <laughs> why we're getting so many shield breakers. Like, my god. Um, I don't know that I really want to take any of these guys. The only thing I might consider is um, swapping. But Caliban's already level 1. And his, um, his quirks aren't that bad. His quirks aren't that bad. Um, we could look at maybe swapping our, our Exorcist, but I think he's level 1 as well. Doesn't really make sense to do that. He's a little bit stressed. This is the only way that I'll do... Um... Oh, these are quite nice, actually. These are the only way I'll do dismissals is if we're straight swapping and we keep the names. Um, I don't know why we're getting so many shield breakers. That's harsh. It's harsh in my buzz. <laughs> That's too bad. All right. Well, okay. So I got one. We got we got a Duchess, which is cool. It's a cool class. Let me uh, go get the name. I'll come back and introduce you to our, our Duchess friend. Okay, everybody. Meet our first Duchess. This is Harmony. And Harmony's backstory says this. I, as a woman who has been lost to the madness that exudes from the hamlet and then changed for the worse where she now has to hide her true appearance so that she is not instinctively attacked by those who did not know her plight. She now wishes to see the madness firsthand so that through combating others who have been corrupted, she can gain control of her own body, even at the risk of losing what sanity she has left and become just as mindless as the monsters who roam the surrounding areas. After gaining control of her body, she will then venture forth to see that the resources of the Hamlet are used to the goal that aligns with hers as the madness is a tool that could end the world in the hands of those who do not properly understand it. Harmony, great name for the Duchess, I would say. Uh, welcome to the team. Happy to have you. Now, uh, the Duchess class. This is a transformation class. You're going to see kind of a theme here with a lot of custom classes and transformations. Um, you can use the transformation twice per battle. I'm not going to spoil exactly what happens, but it's pretty cool <laughs> when she transforms. Uh, so when she changes to beast mode... She gets extra speed and extra damage. It debuffs everybody else at a 10% stress. And I think this just means that any stress that they take will get increased by 10%. It's not increasing their overall stress by 10%. Uh, if you're a beast and you transform, you will cure any blight or bleed that you have on yourself. You're going to change to human mode, which is what we see right now. And everybody else gets plus 10% stress healing received to try and negate the debuff that you placed when you transformed. Now, at, in the human form, she's still pretty solid. So she's got a really good riposte if she's in the front line. And I think this is definitely where you want to have her, is a front line. Her, she's got decent amount of HP for uh, resolve level 0. It's pretty cool. Uh, but she activates riposte. She does slightly less damage and crit when she's reposting. But then you can change her to beast and she still maintains the riposte, so it's kind of cool. Uh, if she gets pushed back, or if you have a clat or a, a roster or group that's kind of shuffling around a lot, a lot of movement, you can have her uh, move from the back to the front a little bit and get some extra crits on whichever target she wants. Um, she has Iron Maiden, so she can buff her protection and reduce the crits she receives, which is quite nice. You can only use it once per battle. And then Feed the Beast. So this is when after you transform. So now you bypass guard, bypass stealth, you get a crit modifier, and you heal for 3 HP when you use this skill. Um, kind of like a lifesteal, feed the beast. Uh, what's scary about this is the accuracy. So accuracy base being at 80, accuracy trinkets would be pretty good. Castigate, accuracy base of 90, so, uh, stun that does some damage, and debuffs your target minus 20% damage. So pretty solid all around. You can target the first three ranks as well. And then lastly, Thirst for Power. You can target the first three ranks. Uh, it doesn't do a ton of damage, but it's going to reduce the amount of healing that that target uh, receives, reduces their crit, and for us, it buffs us 20% healing received and 3% crit. So you could go something like um, 
you probably want to go repost at the start maybe throw down an iron maiden if you feel that it's necessary then you transform and you could do something like either you go into your stuns you go thirst for power and then you get a little bit of extra healing on your feed the beast after thirst for power because of the healing buff um but i think you probably could just get away with feeding the beast and stunning um ideally in terms of camping she got bloodletting produces the blood so i think she just produces um like like crimson court blood removes a disease and suffers 20 percent hp damage but removing diseases during camping is really nice and this only is a time cost of one uh it looks like it's limited uses of three like in total which is kind of cool so a really strong skill but limited uses you don't see that very often uh self-care minus stress which is good the fast plus three speed for battles delayed curse craving um and immune to death by crimson curse which is i guess good this doesn't impact her yet until uh, the crimson court starts going i believe and then calling card a uh, time cost of three 10 percent crit for four battles and two hp healed for four battles i assume that goes into here which uh make this makes her just really tanky like she's a really solid frontliner i would say um yeah okay so let's um figure out what we're gonna do next clean up our hamlet a little bit Path of the boss is cleared. Uh, I wouldn't mind going for another medium run if we can find uh, a good trinket that we want. Life crystal seems pretty nice. Protection at the cost of speed for the abominations, okay. Um, if you want a quick way to figure out what's a medium run, by the way, anything with these spikes is a medium run. I think if it's a long, it might even have like five spikes or something. Ooh, what's this? Max of the kitsune plus three speed while marked plus 10 dodge while marked and on attack random target 20 20 percent while marked i don't even know what that means mask of a kitsune so we have where's the one that marks us both it's this one on our succubus if we mark us both i wonder if this is made for her she gets the extra speed. She gets the dodge. Um, on attack, random target, 20%. Not sure I totally understand that. Not sure I get it. Now, ideally, to maximize our, our output and our chances of survival, we take level 2s in here. Um, we don't have any level 2s right now, so I think it's probably best that we stick to a medium run. Ooh, succubus only. Crit versus marked, ten, uh, minus or ten percent accuracy versus marked. It's not bad. These are both the exact same quest. Speed and move resist. Max HP. Okay. So pretty soon we'll probably venture into the Sunward Isles. Um, soon. I think maybe we go for the sharp-edged ring. It's nice because we can combo that with her own skills. We don't have to really rely on a specific party. Because once we use Protect Your Goddess, um, we're both marked. And then all of our other stuff is pretty good. Uh, Silent Curse marks as well for the de-stress or the removal of the uh, stress skills so yeah I think this can work I think this is good it's a medium run now uh, we're going into the runes ruins I should say uh, taking somebody like Father Canner and Demore seems pretty nice this is really solid the buffs over time let's see I guess we probably want to bring Kebab. We probably want to bring Kebab. In case Ectomorphs show up. Just looking at what we might need to uh, consider here. It maybe unlocks. This pull is quite good. 
But it does shuffle us as well. D-stealths on the front line. Be rare, but possible, I suppose. Hmm. Who would be our tank? Minus 10 accuracy, but 15 damage. Oh, it's pretty cool. His accuracy is um, okay. Almost wonder if we should leave that just for the damage. I just really don't. I hate missing. Right? You can do as much damage as you want, but if you don't hit, what does it matter? If I bring Gray out, she's very likely to hit level 2, which is probably good, considering we want to start going towards some bosses and some more challenging runs here. Beast Hater. I guess taking our Crusader would make a lot of sense into the ruins. I'm just looking for any... Uh, even here, Unholy. Could be nice. The only thing is we don't benefit from bleed very much. In the ruins. Ruin scrounger. Maybe we do something like this. We have Proselytize. We can combo that with Repost here. We have that little heal. I don't think we're going to mark a whole lot. So, let's go with Word of Power. Um, Vade Retro Stun. We have heals here. What's nice is this can clear horror and clear stun. So against uh, ectomorphs, if they show, we can clear that horror straight up. And then for stress, I, the biggest scare is of course the ectomorphs. Um, but I, I think we'll go. I think we still go proselytize. We'll see how it feels. If we if we feel like switching this up and maybe getting some slight de-stressing, we can do that. But um, I actually think that this can work. This can work. Okay, let's unequip all trinkets here. Accuracy on range skills. Let's actually put this on him. We're going to go protection here. Because we're going to activate Repost. I don't mind keeping his dodge up. We'll put damage there. Nobody's doing bleed. Nobody's doing blight. Okay. I wonder... If I switch out Inspiring Cry... Or Bulwark of Faith. I like this because the torch, but get a little torch here and some de stress. We also, since it's a medium run, we have nighttime ambush unlocked. Yeah, we do. If religious prevent nighttime ambush. Well, we're religious. So, not an amazing um, bonus. I think this is better. Five dodge if torch is above 75. Protection if torch is above 75. Yeah, I think that's the way that we go, to be honest. Okay. Let's go up here. Pretty expensive. 
Reduce the cost of training camping skills by 10%. Um, I think once we start getting experienced recruits, we won't need to do this as often. Because these all come unlocked, I believe. I'm going to do this. Um, he's only got four, so that's fine. What do we want to do in terms of stress management here? Kaz is still having a rough go. Nightwalker, same deal. Put Kaz in. The Penance Hall. Uh, in terms of quirks... Anybody that's got anything serious, fading should probably go. Scientific. Don't cheat. Micah's got nothing. Minus 10 damage of torch above 75, I don't like. Lazy Eye is pretty bad for our Hound Master. Yeah, I think we go here. Get rid of Lazy Eye. Okay, and then who do we have in here again? Right. We can just see it at the top of this. Uh, let's do this. I'm not going to go to level 2. I'm going to go to level 2 here. And my stun. And Zealous Accusation. Edmund. Stun. Repost. It's good. And then we'll take our healing skills for sure. We'll take these other two as well. Alright. Weapons wise. These guys all need upgrades. And we cannot afford all the upgrades. So I'm going to take it on a couple of key players here. We'll do like so. Even still... Even still, we're going to make a run into here. Medium run into the ruins. I'm just going to roughly map it out. We're probably going to have to sell something. Um, the Blightstone's going to go, I think. And we can use torches like... Uh, maybe I even need to take all of them. Something like that. I don't know. We'll, I'll figure out if I want to switch this around. Um, it's a medium run, so maybe some more holy waters. There's a lot of good curios in the ruins. Um, Food-wise, that maybe feels a little bit light. Um, Loudenum, I guess we can ignore because we have this. We have Benediction. Yeah. It might be tough, but we've got some upgraded weapons. And uh, we've got a lot of healing. Stress is the biggest concern, but we can camp for that. So we've got de-stressing there. De-stressing on this one. And de-stressing here. Yeah, okay. So, we'll do this. We're going to go into the ruins with uh, this Holy Crusader group. Revere the End, Edmund the Boss, Father Canaran, and Grey. Wish me luck. We'll see you guys very soon. Bye for now.